you start on your feet can be intimidating for those who haven't had a chance to do it before yet. We're going to start at a very low beginning level of it. Low beginning level we're going to start with is we're going to put our shoulder down and I want to work on the idea of the angle being straight and forward, not opening and falling off to the two sides, which is something that people do a lot. So the way we're going to start with that is we're going to be, and you can do this in your house. You can, I wouldn't recommend doing it on concrete until you practice a little bit, but this is a very low, easy thing to do. So the idea we're going to have is I'm going to have one knee down, hand down for support and balance. I'm going to touch, and I'm going to push myself forward. The push myself forward part is one of the things I want you to really think about and pay attention to. So we're going to be here. I'm going to push over my shoulder with my left foot. And when I go up, I want to go up over the top so I end up going straight. I don't want to kick off to one of the either sides. It's going to help kind of keep your roll under control so you don't lose the ability to, to stay in a line and you'll roll across your back to the correct angle. If you open up to the two sides, you end up flatting your back, which is not how you want to end up landing. So you want to end up being on your sides, which is going to give you a better, stronger, safer landing position. So from the other side, the right shoulder is going to go down. My left leg is out to the side. My hands down for balance. I touch my shoulder, really tuck my chin. I'm going to push now with my right foot and really come up over the top. And I'm going to end up on my left side with my slap. If you're rolling on something beside a mat, you don't have to slap. You can just touch to maintain good habits. This is the same exact roll you do from your feet. You process it like this. And when you have the opportunity or the need to roll from your feet, you'll be able to do that really easily without, without having to do a lot of other transitions. If you can do this well, it'll translate directly to taking a good forward roll feet wherever you're taking. Um, I, like I said, I would not recommend doing a lot of rolling on hard surfaces yet until you get good at it. But if you had to, it becomes very survival, which is the self-defense aspect we're looking to make sure we can do is what we're focused on. I mean, if you come up a little bump and bruise and scratch, I can live with that. If you end up landing badly on your head, your neck, your elbow or something like that, that will be a problem. So we wanna make sure we wanna keep ourselves in that straight line. So let's do one more. So I have one knee down, my hand is down, my shoulder touches, and I wanna make sure I'm really getting down to the ground here, because this is where I can take it very low and easy and do it anywhere. I push with my left foot, and I can take a nice, easy roll that I can practice and be good at rolling anywhere. Okay? Do you want to do it on the first So, we're going to go here. Now we are going to go from the other side. So, we want to stay in this position. So, I'm going to touch my shoulder now. My other foot is out wide. So, you can see it from the side angle here. I'm going to push with my right foot. And I'm going to go over the top. And it should be a nice, easy roll. Once again, I don't even have to slap, and I'll end up taking and being fine. So we're going to do that much with the four rolls tonight. And like I said, if you practice that, so when I first started rolling up 1994, whatever it was, when we started doing Aikido and Judo back in Baton Rouge, I thought I was impervious.